Okay, it's Monday night. I didn't get to do any work on the machine this weekend, but uh, in a previous video I had talked a little bit about the assembly of the upper triangle here. This is the upper triangle. And I haven't installed it yet. And the reason I hadn't installed it yet was that I was still having a little bit of difficulty with these pulleys. These pulleys, the timing belt travels over these, and they do need to move pretty freely. And on my machine, two out of the three spin reasonably well, but they're still just a little bit stiff. So um, I had experimented with putting a little shim in here to try to hold it out. I thought maybe this mold, some mold flash here was what was slowing slowing this down and making it rough, but um, when I tighten down this nut right here to hold the pulley in place, it was pinching the roller a little bit. I didn't have that problem on the first machine, and I'm a little bit troubled why I'm having a, trouble, having a problem with this machine. But to solve it, what I did was I got myself some, I think these are M3, these are M3 Nylocks. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the, the M3 nuts that are provided with nylocks. And that way I can, I can thread these on, but there'll be just a little bit of side play. And that'll hopefully keep from compressing. There's little ball bearings inside these wheels, inside these pulleys. And I'm hoping that I won't compress those and it'll be able to, to move real freely. So I'm just going to show you real quick how I do that. Okay, so I'm just using my hemostats as a wrench here, and I'm going to just uh, unscrew. This is actually an M3 by 20 millimeter screw, so I'm just going to take that out. Okay, so on the left you can see the M3 nylock, and on the right is the regular M3 nut. And nylock has a little nylon insert right in here, and what that does is grips onto the M, the M3 screw, so it keeps it from turning. So I can tighten this down, it's pretty much going to stay in the same place. I don't have to tighten it down all the way, I'm not relying on any kind of compression to hold the nut in place. So that nylon insert is what does the trick. Okay, so not much to doing this, I just uh, used the hemostats to slip the new nut in there and tighten it down with my little hex driver. And the reason I did it this way is because I want to I'm going to replace these on the old machine. Even though the old machine really isn't giving me any trouble, I'm going to go ahead and, and put these nylocks on the top pulleys for the old machine as well. So anyway, little hemostats, nice to have. Solve the problem real quick. Okay, that's the end of this video. If this was useful to you, uh, you know, click the like button and, and subscribe to, hey, I think I have eight videos. Eight? Do I have eight? Yeah, I think so. Eight or seven? Eight. Eight? I'm pretty sure you have okay. eight. Well, this will be the eighth one. All right. All right. See you later. Bye.